Mike. Yeah. The UFC light heavyweight champion. Daniel Cormier, the future Hall of Famer, has arrived. He wants to take you down, smash you, and break your will. Daniel Cormier, the two-time Olympian. One of the greatest of all time! Y'all ready? Are you ready for this? Breathe out with it. Just a little bit. Save that energy. Could you please do the booger check? Because I got it, I got it, I got it. Ready? Yep. Let's go! My goal when I came into martial arts was to be the best in the world, to be at the forefront of the battle. When you're the heavyweight champ, you're the baddest man on the planet. I will be the greatest of all time. I'm a world champ. And uh, Steve and I fought for that three times over three years. I love this shit. Ain't nothing changing. And still. The first time, and honestly, that was probably the last time I felt great physically. Daniel Cormier trying to leave here with a piece of unprecedented UFC history. And at long last, the action begins right now. I felt like I was so much faster than Stipe. I figured we would strike early, and then late, I would start to really wear on him with my takedowns. But we never got there. The reality is I picked up on something. He would drop his hands when he would break from the clinch. I was able to land the right hand that put him out. It was, it was perfect. I'm a two division champion, baby! That was the night that I truly felt like all the second places didn't matter. I was the pretty girl at the prom, it was the best. It was my crowning achievement. I sat on top of that cage with two belts. It was like, I never felt so happy. And to know that my mom and dad were out there, it was the greatest moment athletically in my life. Gentlemen, we know the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna keep this clean. Touch gloves and let's do it. Going into the second fight, we get in there in Anaheim. I literally beat the shit out of him for 15 minutes. Ooh, big right hand by Daniel. Stipe's a tough guy. is a champion. He made adjustments on the fly. He started digging to the body. Ah, nice chip, left yeah. to the body. So some tactical changes here for me and Chich. Oh, again. He is digging. Those punches to the body to an already tired guy just really does zap the gas tank. And then my hand started to drop. He knows he's oh! Those are oh, oh, no, right oh, hand up top. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, he's in trouble. Oh, he's in trouble. He's down. That's it. The reality is, and I've never told anybody this, but like, I was hurt, but I was so fatigued. I don't know what I would have done if I would have survived that round. I was just exhausted. I wasn't at my best. I really was not at my best. Like, every loss kills me especially knowing that I had it. Up 3-0, if you can get to the final belt, you win the fight, you keep your belt, you can retire as the champion of the world. It's Cinderella ending, fairy tale. Every time I lost though, left social media, pulled the curtains back, and just sulked and cried, and tried to make sure that I did whatever it took to not happen again. Honestly, for a long time, I said, by 40, I'll be done. But then I lost to Stipe at 40, so I was like, well, got to do the trilogy. The hard work came from my dad. I watched him work and work and work. All the while, my mom was cleaning houses. I watched them break their backs. And never, never, never unhappy. So why can I, for the amount of money that you're paying me to do this, not show the same type of discipline? get a call right after COVID starts, which is crazy, right? They're like, when, what do you think of August? Chop up with that hook when he goes back It was down. like, whatever day in August you guys want us to fight, I'll fight the guy. Let's go and finish this thing out. <laughs> there you go. The night before the last fight, that's when I really took note that it's kind of coming to an end in the worst possible time. Because as much as the people were there that I love, my kids weren't. My wife wasn't. My mom wasn't. My dad wasn't. There was just a lot of change around me, and I didn't like it. It was so odd because the apex was completely empty. 
But get in there. And I'm thinking to myself, one more time, let's just do it. I felt prepared. I felt much better going into that third fight than I did in fight number two. A lot of mutual competitive respect there. Act three is upon us. The fight starts pretty good. I win round one across the board. And the takedown. There's the high crotch that DC had tremendous success with. Second round starts. I'm winning round two even better than I won round one. And as the round's ending, I hit him with a good combination. I tried to escape, and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm not getting away. And he's just throwing right hand after right hand after right hand, and he drops me. Yeah. goes down yeah. on the round. Yeah. 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 It's so yeah. hard. And uh, I was hurt bad. Round three, I get poked in the eye really bad. Yep, no doubt. Oh. No. And then I fought a beautiful round four, won the round. Round five, he went back to clinching me a lot. Potentially some valuable clinch control time here for Miacic. And that is it. Wow. Stipe Miacic and Daniel fight. Cormier go the full 25-minute distance. He won that fight. Like, there is no controversy. There's no confusion. Stipe won that fight. That'll be it for me. You know, I've had a long run. It's been great. I mean, I just fought my last fight for a heavyweight championship, and... It was a pretty good fight. So It was a great fight. You've been a great champion, and you will, without a doubt, go down in history as one of the greatest combat sports athletes of all time. It was huge because you had two great fighters fighting for the heavyweight championship of the world. It doesn't matter what people do and say. It is the most prestigious award in all of fighting, and it's going to stand the test of time. You know, one of the things that I always say, like, legends, we come and we go, but your legacy, it always stays. That never, never gets erased. UFC history! I'm very proud that a little boy from Louisiana did all the things that he did because that was never supposed to be for someone like me. Everybody plays baseball, basketball, or football, and I became the king of the world.